You guys like toys? Do you like new toys? How about some toys you've never seen before? You want to go to the toy fair? Let's go. How's it going? I'm Alex from Activision. We're going to jump into Skylanders Giants, which is the extension to the previous game, Skylanders Spyro's Adventure. So right here I'm playing with, with uh, Stealth Elf, who's one of the characters from the original Spyro's Adventure. And we're going to show you a little bit about what we're doing with these giants and how they really change the gameplay experience. So first of all, you know the center of the game is bringing toys to life. It's that magic moment. So right here you can see I'm going to be surrounded by enemies. This is when you're going to want to call in the giants. So at any point in time, like the previous game, you can switch your characters, you can jump in, and you can jump out. Right here you can see the giants really add that new intense gameplay experience, those epic moments. Right here you can see they interact differently with the environment than the previous Skylanders. So, you know, normally I'd have to walk around these boulders with a giant, maybe I could just pick it up and throw it. You can take out large groups of enemies. The enemies will, it will react differently to you as well. They're significantly stronger than the other Skylanders. They can take out large groups of enemies at once, and we're going to have eight of them in total, one for each elemental class. So you can see he has his laser beam, he has his ground pound. Really enables you to take out large groups of enemies at once. Um, of course, like the previous game, you know, there's tons of incentive to switch characters. So, you know, at some point, they may not need a giant, but in this case, we want to show you why giants are so awesome sure. and when you would want to use them. Um, of course, like in the previous game as well, everything you're doing is getting saved onto the toy. So, as I'm collecting, you know, busting through these barrels, I'm collecting coins, it's getting saved onto my toy in real time. If I were to take my toy, bring it over to my buddy's house, even if I have a Wii and my buddy has an Xbox 360, the toys work across platforms. I hear Here's an example, you know, maybe with a previous Skylander you'd have to solve some sort of challenge to get across this bridge. With a giant, you just make your own bridge. And just the actual interaction with the environment, you can see when they walk, the ground will shake. You know, you can tell that you're playing with a giant character. It is a unique game and experience. There's also going to be, you know, like the previous game, areas that are only accessible to certain characters. So really rewarding the collectability of the game. There's going to be areas that are only accessible to giants, hidden bonus items, treasure, things like that. We're also introducing lighting technology. The characters will get progressively brighter and brighter, so really reinforcing that magic. So we're also going to have eight uh, characters with lighted technology as well. Four will be brand new Skylanders. Four will be Skylanders from the previous adventure. For the price of a regular video game, you'll be able to get an expansion pack, which will not include the portal. So if you already have the previous adventure, you don't need to buy a new portal. So for the price of any other video game, you'll get the software, and then you'll also get a giant, and then likely a new Skylander, and a reposed version of an old Skylander. So just keeping that value intact yeah. for the consumer of, you know, extending the experience. But then all the toys from the previous adventure will work on the expansion pack. Okay. So we're treating it as a sequel to Spire's Adventure. It's going to be an all-new storyline. Here's an example of a bonus area that only the Giants will have access to. You can see I can bust through that hole in the ground. So of course Toys for Bob will be making another high quality game and just, you know, continuing to, you know, provide fun new gameplay experiences. This is a feat of strength, another epic moment to show off exactly what the Giants capable of. Alright. Previously may have attacked you, they may keep their distance, they may run away. So, you know, the game really centers around, you know, rewarding people for, you know, these additional toys. It's going to really add a new and unique gameplay experience when you're playing with these giants. Flying high after watching our video? Stay in touch. Know when we put up something new. Subscribe, rate, and comment. Oh! And connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, and our own site, thetoyspy.com.